Two changes apiece this afternoon for Derby. It's uh, Wildsmith and Nyambi who come into the side for Vickers and Cash in both injured. Nathaniel Mendes Lang is fit. That's the biggest boost for the Rams after he scored and then was almost immediately substituted at the Valley last weekend. Corey Blackett Taylor fit enough to return to the bench as well. Punched away by Wildsmith. Clever from Winchester, evades Bird. Roll back for Hinchy. Moves it over to Subawale. Not able to find the target. It was a decent strike from Subawale. Great play from Winchester in the first place. Down that left-hand side, sold the Dewey to Max Bird. The ball comes back across. He has a decent touch, it's that pressure. Ward on duty once more. Collins got a toe to it. It needed just a little bit more than that. What a ball. What a delivery. Whipped in right into the danger area. Collo gets away from his marker. He gets his studs on it, but not enough contact to divert it into that far corner. It's a brilliant ball. Watch it from a different angle. You can't get any better than that. Collo couldn't do much more. You could have seen that nestle in the back of the net, unfortunately. Dolby have taken the throne, and this is Nathaniel Mendes Lang. And he draws a save from Morosi. First time he's really been tested. And cuts in from the left hand side, opens his body up, strikes it well enough. Morosi makes the save. It's a save that you'd expect him to make. Still a really Decent strike from Mendes Lang, though. Benning gives it straight to Bird. Held by Hinchy, play continues. Nelson. Adams. Bird trying to race onto it. Pierre might have done himself some damage here, but Derby continuing. Pierre hobbling back into the play. This is Mendes Lang. Fight across goal, could have gone anywhere. It's behind off Dunkley. Lewis Bird and Adams battling for the first few balls and they dropped to Harahan who played a lovely ball into Sibley. He took it first time, found Mendes Lang in that 1v1. Love that. Stay away, Sibs. Leave it to me. 1v1 in the box, hard and low. Still Adams is being held. Low from Mendes Lang, met by Bird! Oh, that's lovely from Derby! Max Bird on target once again. That's what Derby were waiting for. A set piece magic. All the confusion was in and around that six yard box. Nobody spotted Max Bird. Mendes Lang did, saw the run, picked him out. And it was a decent strike from Max. Hard and low, Morosi goes down, gets contact, but there's too much power. It's too much pace. There's the little whip towards that front post. Max Bird meets it, and you just have to get good contact, direct it towards goal. It was too quick for Rosie. In from the captain. Oh, and it nearly snuck into that top corner. Well, I'll tell you what, being in the gantry to watch and view that free kick going into that top corner was a sight but what save it was from Morosi it looked destined to find that top right hand corner struck it really well Connor O'Brien over comes Curtis Nelson with a good challenge impeccable once again Curtis Nelson Benning found the gap can he pick someone out? He can! Shrewsbury have equalised. And the celebrations have barreled into Nathaniel Mendes lag. There is an edge to this, but Derby having led for so long in the second half have allowed Shrewsbury through. They came back from two down last season at Pride Park and 
now they've equalised here again. Well, it's just switched off. Far too easy, Wilson, letting Benning get past him, cuts it back, and in the box, the first time finish from Pierre. And it's Shrewsbury with their tails up. Winchester. Bradley clears, not decisively. Nelson tries to win the header. O'Brien, Benning, Wilson. Arahan looked like he was interfered with. Drops for Winchester, lining it up. Pushed away by Wildsmith. It's Shrewsbury asking the questions here. Yeah, well, we thought Shrewsbury might just accept that one point and be grateful for it. The knot that's them on the ascendancy. Great strike from Winchester. Gets his foot behind it. Decent contact, but it was straight at Joe Wildsmith. By to Barkazen. Barkazen's cross. Header down. Woodwork. It was Curtis Nelson with his head in his hands at the back post. And it was well worked into Barquez and great delivery towards that far post. Nelson gets up, heads the ball down, as you're often taught to do. But unfortunately, it bounces off the ground, hits the crossbar and goes wide. Wilson. Trying to make room for the cross. Barkazen not able to find a way through. I think the referee gave a free kick anyway for the challenge on Pierre, but Derby throwing everything at Shrewsbury. And it looked like it wasn't going to be a great ball from Wilson picking it out. There's the foul from Colo. It's ahead from Barkazen, bounces back and lands kindly into Morose's hands. Derby denied by Aaron Pierre's late equaliser, Curtis Nelson hit the woodwork in the final moments, but Derby not able to find the winner. It's finished, Derby County 1, Shrewsbury Town 1.